Hello fellow type 1 diabetics and Zap Diabetes watchers, subscribers, all those good things. Uh, today I'm finally going to do the video that I promised you last week. Um, I'm going to do the top 10 awesome things about the Medtronic 670G insulin pump. Check them out. Alright, number 10. Um, and this is the least important uh, on the list, but, uh, and funny enough, I never thought I would say that, but it's the color screen. The screen is color finally. I, of course it was on the 630G. Um, obviously the 630G was only out a couple months when they announced the 670, but um, many, uh, well, all of the electron uh, Medtronic um, pumps up until the the six, six, 600 series here has had uh, a black and white Game Boy like screen like original Game Boy and I'm gonna use video game analogies today because I've just been on a, a video game kick especially old ones um, but um, the color display is very easy to see in the dark um, looks great compared to the pumps of the past um, Number nine, louder, more distinct beeps. So, like, if you get an alert from your pump, like you're running low on insulin, your blood sugar is getting too high, um, it beeps at you, and not only does it just beep at you, like, it'll warn you again, and it gets louder and more annoying. Um, the more times it has to beep on you, which is, you know, it sounds really bad, but it's actually a really good thing because it's going to help you take care of yourself. So, thumbs up to that. Number nine, more distinct beeps. Now, the beeps get really annoying. However, it's a good thing because it helps you make sure you check your pump and make sure that you do your calibration or low, try to lower your blood sugar or whatever it may need. So more distinct beeps, the more distinct beeps, good thing and a bad thing, <laughs> but mostly a good thing because it's gonna help you. Number eight is CGM accuracy. Um, it's usually within 10 points of my finger stick, which is, you know, pretty good. I think it's pretty amazing. A lot better than I thought it would be, actually. Number seven, the pump is actually designed to work with the CGM pretty flawlessly. Like, this pump is not good for just a finger stick and no CGM. I, I did that for like six months, and I was like, this is not as good as my last pump. Um, I changed my opinion when I got the CGM because it's really designed to use that and, and it makes a lot more sense to me now. Now granted, um, there's some things where I made in my previous video about, you know, it looking like an old MP3 player. Yeah, that stuff still stands, but like, I mean, it, it fits. It's awesome and it, it, it works. Number six, auto mode. Auto mode keeps your blood sugar. Um, or does its best to keep your blood sugar between uh, usually around 100 and 180. It does that pretty good. There was one point where I went like a two week stretch where it was like pretty flawless. Um, and you know, when I do a cons video, I'll get into like reasons why not. But um, it really does that a good 80% of the time, um, at least for me so far. And I'm going to try to get it back to, you know, closer to 100. But I will take that any day of the week compared to what how things used to be with me. Um, it, it, it's, it's, it's great. Um, and we'll have definitely have more on auto mode. Number five, my blood sugar, um, my highest high is way lower than before. Before I'd get high blood sugars, my highest blood sugars, you know, I'd get a lot of, still some a lot in the 300s and sometimes as much as four or 500, which is ridiculously high. And, um, and now, um, it, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's very rare for me to get above 225. Very, very rare. Like, like I can't think of any time I've been over like 240 in the last month, which is crazy. That's a huge, huge improvement for me. And I hope to get it even better, but yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's fantastic. And before, I would, you know, a lot of times it'd be normal. Like, my normal would be in the two or three hundreds. And I know these are terrible things that I'm saying out loud. But, like, hey, you know, if it's keeping me under 200, like, 90-some percent of the time. That's fantastic. I guess the other thing I should say, uh, the only times I really get into the 200s 
um, are for several different random reasons. Um, one of them being um, the sensor needs changed. Um, one of them being the sensor came off or I already took it off because it expired. And so I, I haven't put a new one on yet. Another one being I've had a carbohydrate feast. Um, maybe I ate something that was a little bit, you know, um, not the best idea, such as like the time I ate corn's checks and did a video. <laughs> yeah, you know, stuff like that. Next thing is this number four, it gives you more basil automatically. I mean, it's crazy. It's not just simply like, okay, I'm going to give you, you know, two units an hour or anything like that. It's, um, I know what you're doing and we're going to come up with a basil rate that's custom for this time on this day. And that is just, uh, you know, really phenomenal. And it, it's one of those things that, you know, keeps your sugars uh, a lot better than before. Number three. Um, it shuts off your insulin when you get low. I know this has been done for a while now, but, you know, last five plus years maybe. But it hasn't been done in conjunction with giving yourself more insulin when you get high. And the fact that it's both at the same time for the first time ever is just crazy crazy amazing it's it's amazing how far uh how far that it's how far that's come plus with the accuracy now of the sensor 3 that uh the cgm is using for the 670g number two and this is gonna be more like a david letterman response but like it's a robo pancreas it's a robot pancreas and it's not um, one of those evil, like, Mega Man robots, like Magnet Man or Snake Man or anything like that. It's, it's like a legit good robot. You know, it's like this pump is essentially your Mega Man. Number one is healthier you, lower A1C. My A1C before I got this, you know, before I got the CGM was like an eight, which is terrible, terrible. You know, and I'm saying this risking the people aren't going to want to watch me anymore. But um, <laughs> now it's it's like a six, which is like a crazy huge improvement. And, I'm, and once I get a full amount of time on this, I'm hoping it's even lower. Um, I was only on the CGM for like two weeks. And it was when I ran a stretch of like blood sugars all under 200. Uh, the one I mentioned before. And I got my A1C and it was a six, which is crazy awesome crazy awesome um there is still a good amount to prove in but the best this is the best thing to happen to diabetics since the glucometer and insulin now i will still make a video where i tear it to shreds but there's always room for improvement and i i give you the pros i give you the cons but i do mean that you know as much as I've complained about their customer service, things like that in the past, and, and you know, I, there, there's opportunity, you know, but this is a great invention. It's amazing. I highly recommend it. And hopefully each and every one of you could have a chance to have one. All right, please like, subscribe, let me know what you think of the video. Let me know if you're okay with the video game analogies. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next one.